Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. I haven't done this in a minute. We are a little messy back here. I have started to declutter my closet. Have not filmed it yet, but I definitely want to do that this week. I was supposed to do it today. I ended up going to TJ Maxx with my mom, Brian, my son, a few things. I have been just going. Now, I've said that I'm not on a no what? I said that I'm on a no buy. However, Target Circle Week, that kind of changed a little bit. And then during time days, my husband and I bought a baby food maker and jars and we bought a Roomba, Roomba <laughs> robot mop and vacuum very excited about that because we just cannot keep up like with the baby it's just it's like near impossible and with gooby's litter it's just a lot we have started to do that i did get him a lot of christmas gifts during the circle we got my husband a couple things we're already starting christmas shopping i know it's crazy but i've already started because i want to enjoy the holidays with my son and with my husband and you know our family so also why not so i wanted to share with you guys a few things that i got for him a couple things i'm gonna wrap as gifts and again you're probably like well sam he's only gonna be like five, six months old by the time Christmas comes. Why? Like he's not even gonna remember this, but I'm going to, and David is going to, and our family's going to. Just make this Christmas like, you know, every Christmas I wanna make special for my son, but especially this is his first Christmas here on earth. Yeah, so the things I got that are not gifts, obviously, I got him, this is, they didn't really have much Christmas stuff out yet at TJ Maxx, obviously, but they had a pretty good amount. So your girl may have gotten a couple Christmas trees to add to her collection coming soon. I might've broken the no buy for that. I'm not gonna lie. So I got him this cute little Christmas outfit. They're Rudolph or reindeer and has like little matching pants. And then this is what the onesie looks like. It's a little red truck. I want a Christmas tree and it was $11.99 which I didn't think was too bad for our two little Christmas outfits and I got this for him right now this is just this little infantino little toy that he could play with and grab the things and everything mostly when we take him on walks or we're out or something because I like his car seat toy but it's such a pain when we have to put him in the stroller we have to move it it's so cute this little elephant with all these things on it. I did get him a couple books. I wanna get him some more Thanksgiving Christmas books because he has a crap ton of Halloween ones, obviously, but I wanted to get him some more. So, so far I found Pookie's Thanksgiving <laughs> and this was $4.99. And then I got, my mom was like, get that, that's really cute. This was $6.99, The Very Hungry Caterpillar Peekaboo Christmas. I do have a couple Christmas books for him already, but I wanted to get him a couple. And then the things I got that are gifts, my son is like three, three and a half months old, he's not gonna watch this video. Nor I don't think he would care. <laughs> I got him a couple snow suits. This one's mostly for like when we go places, this cute little Nike one, it's a six to nine month. And then I got him this other snow suit for if my husband decides to take him out in the snow, which he will, which he will. This is by Volcom. This is also a six to nine month, very cute. This one was $16.99. And then the Nike one was obviously $20 because of the brand, but I just love getting him Nike clothes because they're like comfortable and I like the fabric and the quality and the buttons on them and nice, you know? Have to spend an arm and a leg for it because if I bought this in the Nike store, let's see what the price would have been. They tried hiding this price. It would have been $44, buy. Or if I bought this, this is crazy. If I bought this at, I don't even know where you find Volcom. Volcom? I don't know. Tag on here says it would have retailed. Oh my god, stop it. This is funny as hell. It says Nordstrom Rack. It would have been $30. And then if we flip to find the actual price of it, it would have been $85. So this was at Nordstrom Rack. <laughs> it's so funny. Well, whatever. I'm happy to get this for him. Some stuff for the snow. I'm trying to slow down buying things, but I just can't stop buying things for my son because I love him so much and I want to spoil the hell out of him. But not too much, but you get what I mean. And then I did get some like essentially things that I did need. Um, I got some oil pulling stuff, the Guru, Guru Nada stuff. Hair towels for my hair because mine are, they're going through it right now. So I got this pack for five bucks. A lot that I got right now. And oh my God, I can't wait. Oh, my baby. So I'm going to go get Brian up, maybe go to the bathroom. And uh, that's going to be our afternoon today on a Wednesday and tomorrow I have therapy. And then Friday I considered taking my son back to my work because they're having the pumpkin patch for the kids. I don't know if I want to anymore. And tomorrow's two weeks till Halloween. What? What? Crazy. And I'm already thinking about Christmas. Nothing new if you're new here. You know, I was just saying to my mom that I was gonna buy this vlog camera from TikTok shop because it's super cheap and everyone's like taking po photos with digital cameras now. I don't know, I was just feeling it. So I might, but maybe not. 
And this happens every single year. So if you're new here and you have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, personally decorate my house for Halloween and fall the beginning of September. I used to do a beginning of August and then realized that was way too much because by the end of September, I was over it and wanted Christmas. Now, when I start the beginning of September, by the middle to end of October, I'm over it and ready for Christmas. So I'm already watching Pink Sparkles Vlogmas videos from last year. I still love Pink Sparkles, Samantha. We have the same name. Love her still. It's not a good flattering still of her right now though. <laughs> I don't feel so alone. My double chin though. But we're giving Ryan a bubba. He's giving me a bubba. Hey bubba. Bubba has a bubba's. And he's going to go down for his evening nap. And then I'm going to make dinner for David and I. Which is a TikTok recipe from, I can't remember her name. If I find it, I'll put it down here at the bottom. She's a low income stay at home mom. But she makes recipes. That I also follow the, I think her name is the Polish mom on TikTok. And I don't know. I think I'm just, I talked about it in my podcast episode. I don't know if it's the most recent one or one of them. I think it's episode three. I'm changing so much. Like things that I didn't really care about before, I care about now. Like I want to cook. I want to clean. I want to you know be the best I can for my baby so it's just crazy how having a baby literally changes everything good and bad but mostly good it's all good I don't really know what's bad besides I think just the postpartum and I think I'm finally starting to be okay so that's good and I'm very grateful again that I'm not working right now because I don't know how going back to work with him being three months there's no way no no way stinky he's like what is that that's you yeah <laughs> I'm already having an idea for our Vlogmas intro is going to be this year. And I'm actually contemplating if I want to vlog every day because I'm going to be able to do it since I'm not working. But I don't know if I want to because our our days are pretty boring here. Brian and I, we just chill mostly all day if we're not going out and doing something. So I might still... <clears throat> do it the way that I did last year and do two videos a week. One video will hopefully be a vlog and one will be a random whatever, whatever you guys want to see. I know it's early. It's only like mid to end October, but just let me know in the comments if that's something you want to see and if what you want to see. I'm so mad at myself too because I meant to vlog today when my mom and Brian and I went to TJ Maxx and totally forgot because we hadn't A, we hadn't been there in like two months, which is crazy. And B, I was just so worried about him, you know, like mom life. That wasn't like the first thing on my mind. It was mostly make sure he's okay and we get through the store and he did very well. Proud of you. You always do very well. I'm going to burp him and um, yeah. You're watching Pink Sparkles Vlogmas. <laughs> it is October. I am going to make my protein coffee. I've been doing this for like the last few days. I don't know what it is. If it's just me and my body getting back to normal. If it's my medication. I don't know what it is. When I ovulate and obviously when I get my period, I have like these ravenous cravings, but I've just been having them randomly for like the last like few months. And it's been very frequent and I have not had any like self-control over myself, which is my own fault, obviously. I've been eating a lot of crap so I'm trying very hard to get it under control I've been doing my walks I've been doing the dias dias rectis diasis re rectis I don't know workout to get your abs back after having a baby I don't know so I've been trying to just get a lot of protein in and see if that helps I don't know I might actually try the Lenny curve gummies I think they're cummies or they're chews I don't know though so we have my Hello Kitty coffee cup Halloween Course, and half of a protein shake in here, Quest chocolate protein shake, and then I add the rest of my coffee for the most part. And then I usually just dump the rest of the coffee. This keeps me full for a long time. I'm here for it. Usually I use like a, have a straw with it. That's what it is. I think this is how it's going to be when I go back to work as well. We weird about things. I want to try and find a Christmas cup like this. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep an eye out TJ Maxx, <laughs> which is also one of the reasons why I went to TJ Maxx yesterday with my mom and my son I was intentionally going to look for like Hello Kitty Christmas mug, but also I wanted to find some um, Christmas hand soap because I'm running out of, I'm going to run out of that because I don't have like, I'm just weird. I don't know. And I also needed to get out of the house. Probably would be better if it was just black coffee and not so like sugary, but the protein shake only has one gram of sugar. And then I do a little bit of my, my pumpkin creamer. So it's like a chocolatey pumpkin <laughs> mocha, whatever, but this should keep me full for a while. So we have that. And then if I want a snack, I just got new Built Puff bars in the mail. So we eat these, a ton of apples and peanut butter. I have little snack packs with cheese, nuts, and cranberries like I used to eat when I was pregnant. So I'm very hard. <laughs> and it is very cold outside. 
the next couple days so we are not doing walks we haven't been doing walks this week but i think beginning of next week we will because it's gonna get in the mid 70s again again october make it make sense uh random but this is my outfit i haven't worn this since i was pregnant literally so little juicy top i think i got this for christmas last year and then the pants say juicy on the butt I will say I'm very grateful though because I feel like I'm starting to get a butt now after having my son but I just need to this this we just need to and I hate with certain clothes that I wear because you could fully see like my full stomach and it makes me look bigger than I am and I just can't stand it so that's another reason why I'm decluttering going through my closet because I'm getting rid of things that make me look like I'm gonna go finish watching this and get Brian up I was also gonna go to Duncan to try the potion macchiato but i think i might just wait till the weekend for that because it's really cold and i just don't feel like leaving the house when it's cold i just don't especially with a baby i just don't um i'm in my i want to stay home as much as possible era <laughs> with my son um and i know it's going to be more of a thing once uh it starts snowing and getting really cold at least i hope it starts snowing the white ones yeah oh, oh my goodness i look like a hot bass right now <laughs> And they just have this adorable little boy staring at me. Yeah. Got happy he is. <laughs> Hello everyone. Good morning. We are in Target. Me and me and Brian. I got my shake from Venus. Mm -hmm. We are here because I need to get out of the house and that's true of how I look right now because I'm dressed as, as far as I got. <laughs> it's kind of nice having a stroller in Target because it prevents me from buying a lot of things. Look at this massive you clip. What do you think, Bubba? Should we get the massive you clip? I really want to. Sorry, puppy. <laughs> He's just like, I don't know, mom. Eight dollars. Then they have this, which I just think this looks really weird. <laughs> He's like, no. Oh, but I kind of like this one. It's giving really 80s. I don't know. I don't know. They're just kind of expensive. That's what's like stopping me. Look at this one, Bubba. It's got, it's got pearls on it. I look like this clip, though. I just love how orange and neon it is. Oh, these are so cute. You could like change them out like little necklaces. That's really cute. I feel like I haven't been to Target with Brian to look around. Look at things high in a long time. But I can't wait till my son doesn't have reflux and spit up anymore. Like, I really do. It's always when we get right in the car seat for whatever reason and the problem is like i want to get my sister some stuff for her birthday but that might have to be a problem we worry about next week because no to get her supposedly she's coming home so i don't know <laughs> yeah tell me about it bubba tell me how do you feel about auntie jess coming home like are you okay with it or are you like nah like how are we feeling about it bubba yeah yeah, oh yeah, that's how you feel. Right now. <sighs> oh, he's looking at the phone like, oh my god, mom, let me see it. Look at me vlogging, guys. I'm actually vlogging for once. See, the problem is I love these half zips, but I just feel like they look so weird on me because of my stomach. Like, I need tight-fitting stuff for my waist. But that pink. Definitely change your outfit when we get home. Yeah, we will. It's okay. It happens, I just can't wait for your reflux phase to go away. <laughs> I don't know why I'm looking at clothes. Like, I love this pink. No bias, I'm gonna move on. I didn't already pick up a whole bunch of Christmas stuff for my cart though. Maybe we'll try to find some Christmas outfits for you. What do you think? Yeah, I'll give you a peek of Brian. Oops, little peek. Typical, stop vlogging now because people keep like staring. Not even that, you know what? I will vlog as much as I want. I'm a mother now. I feel like I should buy another one of these. Try this one, maybe. Micro Mist Saline Inhaler. Might buy another one of these. I don't know, maybe not. We don't need it yet. We don't need it. <gasps> Baby cough syrup, what? Stop it. Oh, hell yeah. I didn't know they made this. Oh, this makes life so much easier. Yay, Bubba. Okay. All right, I'm going to finish my thing and I'll hopefully give you guys a haul when I get home. Yes, I didn't know they made these. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. We're home now. I'm gonna take him home, but I'm also gonna open the window because even though it's 30 degrees, I'm dying. I'm sweating. But uh, I, wanna, I will show you guys what we got after I'm gonna put him in his crib and then we will get into it. 
I'm not gonna show you guys everything, but you've probably already seen the vlog because there are some holiday stuff and I wasn't planning, <laughs> I wasn't planning on doing a holiday haul this year. Obviously your girl's been, <sighs> I just, hello. I'm wanting to make the holidays special, obviously, because this is my son's first Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, you get it. So I really just wanted to get him a few things. I also got some stuff for Halloween because I want to make a little Halloween candy salad, just a little one for like my husband and I. I also wanted to make these brownie things. I might actually do that today because we're going to my mom's tonight. Some of the stuff you will end up seeing in a holiday haul. But I had to go run down there and, and get these before they were gone. And they were just starting to put Christmas stuff out when we went. So middle of October must mean it's time to put the Christmas stuff out. This iridescent, like just like my bag. I got this bag from Big Lots, RIP. Oh, there's crap on it. Of course there is. I got this little pumpkin. I guess you could put it like on top of something and light up or whatever. But very iridescent. And you guys know I love having like traditional Halloween and like Christmas decor mostly for Halloween, it's orange and black, it's classic, it's the vintage vibe, it's just classic Halloween. I really love that aesthetic, but I've also been getting into having like a pink Halloween and also pink Christmas aesthetic, which I don't know who I am, but I think that's just mostly for me. But I also got Brian this cute little set. Again, I was looking for Christmas outfits for him. Couldn't really find anything. Um, I did get him a set from TJ Maxx, but I ended up getting him this because I thought it would be really cute just with the mountains and then there's like little horses I think or wolves I have no idea little stars and moons and it comes with this little like jacket and then little uh sweatpants too and this is a six month so he will be able to wear that I also got David and I decided when I was pregnant last year that this year we would get a new Christmas tree because we've had ours for like five years six years and it's broken <laughs> half of it doesn't light up so we might actually put that one on the deck with the lights and just be cute and then we're gonna get a new Christmas tree especially since Brian is here and you know I've been wanting a new tree for a few years now. Hopefully my wish is granted because if not we're getting problems. So Brian is not four months yet but when he does because he's been congested we've been doing the saline drops all the time. I got him this Mommy Bliss organic cough serum. I did not just say serum. Cough syrup for day and night. It has immunity support in it. And this is for age four months and up. Once he's four months, I can give him this. I'm not giving it to him until he's four months old, obviously. I didn't know they made this for babies. And I'm so happy because we were looking for something for him like a month ago. And there's literally nothing that you could give at that time, like a two month old. And we were like, just saline drops and hope for the best. Yay. And Tylenol. We were giving him infant Tylenol as well because he wasn't feeling the best. Um, and I have a feeling that we're going to be getting sick again soon. Not really happy about it. Moving on, I got some Halloween Oreos because again, I want to make those brownies with Oreos in the bottom. So we're going to do that hopefully today. Hopefully I get some time. This I'm not giving to him for Christmas. I got this for him right now. It's one of these like books that's like texturized and then it has like little parts to teeth on if he wants to. But yeah, this is the same brand as his gym. So it has like all the same animals in it, which he loves. So I'm really excited for him to use that. Okay, and then we also got another saline mist. I saw a mom on TikTok buy like five of these and now I understand. So I have this one right here. I have one in the bathroom and now we have another one just in case because I actually started using it too. <laughs> Not this one, but, or this one, but the one in the bathroom. So that one's kind of like David and I's and this one's Brian's, but I mean, it worked and I stopped having, why haven't I, why, why has it taken me to be a mother to like realize these things? I don't understand. I genuinely don't. But anyways, I got the boogie ones. So we'll see how those are. And then this stuff is just for the little can, it's like tiny, like you see, um, candy salad. I forgot to get M&M's. Sour Patch Zombies some Reese's, some gummy bears, cause my husband loves gummy bears. We got some nerd clusters and of course candy corn cause I love candy corn. I am one of the few people in the world that are obsessed with it. I got a little bag of that as well. I should have got M&Ms, I forgot, but it's okay. I'll probably end up going back anyways. So that's all I can show you guys right now cause the rest of it is for my holiday Christmas haul, which will be coming next month sometime. I mean, unless you guys want to see it in November, let me know in the comments. Very excited about what I got, especially since a lot of it just goes with my theme already. And I'm probably gonna end up going back next week with my mom. So she's probably gonna buy a ton of things and I hopefully will not. <laughs> I was very responsible. Ryan should be getting up soon um, from his morning nap and then he'll play, have a nappy. I want to try and edit and I will also 
baked brownies because again i talked about it in my podcast episode which is hopefully up by now i've just changed so much as a person not only becoming a mother but like my habits and everything has definitely changed as well like i just I love like I was saying to my therapist too the other day like I love baking and I love cooking for my family now like I was kind of like like about it before but now I'm like I genuinely love it and I love like waking Brian up in the morning and the other day we made apple dumplings and like he just watches me and he's just like ah the whole time but it just makes me so happy knowing that I have him and that I'm doing these things for him even though he's too little to you know he's too little to get it but it makes my heart melt I just I love him so much I will hopefully vlog later. This weekend is going to be kind of busy. We are going to finally be taking care of our bedroom furniture. Finally. That's another thing crossed off our master to-do list. Sunday, I have to go grocery shopping. I have to go to Aldi's. Like, I'm saving buying everything just for this trip because there are things that I need to make for dinners, things that I want to make like pumpkin bars, so <laughs> we got to do that. Um more ingredients to make more apple dumplings because I have a crap ton of apples. You get it. I have a lot of things, a lot of things to make, a lot of things to, to bake, <laughs> a lot of bake, make and bake, haha. <laughs> and yeah, like I really want like kitchen stuff for Christmas. Isn't that crazy? Like I need new spatulas, like little mixing spatulas that I cook with. I need new whisks. My little whisks are all like all falling apart now. I want a new pots and pans set. Oh my gosh, I really want like a new like white aesthetic set. That's what I really want. That's what I really want. I don't want like a black one. I just want it to be like, you know, with the white inside and the outside is either like, like pink or something. I want that. Like my mother-in-law has purple ones. Like I want, I want them. I want them. I want pink. I'll see you guys later. I'm just blabbing in this vlog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also in the stage of like, I still want to embrace Halloween, but <sighs> this happens every year. <laughs> Holocris crazy. <laughs> I've been wanting this damn potion macchiato for so long. <laughs> so let's see if it's out to the hype. That coffee's good. Yeah, this is what David gets. <laughs> If anyone's curious, 10 shots of hazelnut, seven cream, seven sugars, and no ice. A psycho. Yes. Um, I just say this is good. It's very cute. It's very sugary. So I'm definitely gonna mix it, even though it's a macchiato and not supposed to mix it. I'm definitely gonna mix it. And if anything, we both have coffee for tomorrow, and I have protein coffee in the fridge that I need to drink. I asked David Donald to get me <clears throat> something Halloween -y because they don't have the Halloween bucket, but I don't really need that. I was gonna ask him about that. I wanted, I mean, I kind of wanted it, but because the bucket itself is just $2. But the one with munchkins, it's 15 But we don't need 50 munchkins. It's like 12 .99. Oh, whatever. Anyways, this is what the <clears throat> donut looks like. Probably tastes like a regular donut. I only got the Halloween things. You can take that. And we got my wrap. So and then hash browns. You didn't have to get me hash browns. You know they make me sleepy. And then maple sugar bacon that's not yeah. for me i know oh my but god that's everything we got from Duncan. yeah oh and we also got two extra coffees so we're good for tomorrow too so you're good for tomorrow that coffee's gonna be drunk, drunk like and seconds. i have to wake up the baby in like five minutes <clears throat> so unless i let him sleep a little I'm sleeping to your mom, bitch. oh Okay. Hello, everybody. So, failed to vlog again. We are at the gas station. We are in my car. I'm not driving today, which is weird. We got a whole bunch of stuff done yesterday, so that was amazing. I'll show you guys after we got the furniture out. We got new furniture, new bed frame. It's very weird. Very, very weird. Got rid of our box spring. Box spring was like 20 years old, too. So, it was time. It was time for it to go. My husband is pumping gas to put in my car. My dunking cup? No. Empty, please. No. Is yours empty too? No. Well, it will be in a minute. Anyways, we are at the gas station, of course. We attempted to pick up my son's prescription. I gotta figure all that out. And I totally forgot to put lip balm on, but I put like the tiniest bit of makeup on today. I'm in my era where I kind of don't feel like putting makeup on, but I do. But like, I want to wear makeup, but then I feel like it's kind of a waste because what am I doing? Going to the store, that's it. 
I don't know. I'll have a little of this on. This is DLA Pretty Privilege, just to make me feel something. I love this with Whirl lip liner. Like, it looks so pretty. And I braided my hair yesterday and took it out this morning. I have to wash my hair anyway. So this is what that looks like. I was gonna try to go to Venus, but there was just no way today. I just don't feel like it. Okay, we did end up going to Venus. <laughs> I got their ghosted tea, which is just for this month. It is crap. Pineapple, blue, raz, cherry, I think. I don't remember off the top of my head. I always get it with level one caffeine, immunity, and hydration because I need immunity because I'm a mama now. I can't afford to get sick and hydration because I'm always dehydrated. Oh, and yes, I broke a nail. We kept these nails on for about a week without breaking any until yesterday. So I think I'm just going to cut them all down and repaint the ones that are going to lose their designs. So this one and this one and just paint them like orange or something for Halloween. And then I also got the apple cider shake. Oh my God. Protein shake. Oh. I just like would die. Like I love this shake. I love the pumpkin cheesecake one, Oreo cheesecake, but this one is like sending me. Like I love these because it's a good like meal replacement for me. And since my sugar cravings have been so out of control since postpartum, and I really think it's just because of my hormones, because usually I don't crave this much sugary stuff. <sighs> and also on another note, I'm definitely gonna have to go to the dentist soon because Fun fact, pregnancy messes up your teeth, which I knew that going into it. Your girl has to get some root canals. I might have to get a tooth removed. Like it's not, we're not playing no more. Like if I eat something that's really, really sweet now, I, I think I'm, so let me just be honest with you guys. I have a completely broken molar now. Like it's completely broken. Like it's completely gone almost. And I think it's going into the next tooth. So that's not good. So we're gonna have to make an appointment for that this week. See where I stand. See if I have to go get root canals now. <laughs> Yay. Let him take a little nappy and then he'll get up, have a bottle and go down for another nap. So yesterday my husband and I, we're back now. <laughs> my husband and I did a whole bunch of decluttering yesterday. So I feel like the series is gonna be a little far few between mostly my stuff at the moment. We'll get to some of his, just don't tell him. We obviously went grocery shopping, stocked up on stuff. I'm in underwear, you know, boy shorts, how I live. Let's go through what I got. <laughs> so a lot of this I have to say is like stock up. So I've been really obsessed with cooking and baking lately. So I've got a lot of things for dinners and obviously snacks. So. There's that first bag is from Stop and Shop. These are not the most healthy, but I love these farm rich crispy dill pickles. Obsessed. Then I got some of these tasties uh, nacho cheese triangles. Oh my God, so good. Got two of these brown and serve sausages for breakfast. And I got two of these to stock up because after pumpkin season is peppermint mocha season. So I got two of those. Some multi-purpose cleaner. I got the method one because I've been wanting to try a better alternative, even though it's a little bit more expensive. Mm -hmm. Whole nother thing of Dawn because I just put the last of it in our soap dispenser. Sugar-free liquid IV because I didn't realize how much I didn't realize how much sugar is in these, so there's that. I think this is the last bag. We also got burgers. We're gonna make burgers tonight because I have a bunch of potatoes and we're gonna make into fries. Pork roast because the kids at all these, they do not have pork, they only have beef and I want pork roast. <laughs> I just like it better, personally. Two yellow onions because at all these, they sell them in a pack and I don't want a pack because they'll go bad on me. All right, so from all these, can you tell that these are all from my car? We got some baby carrots. God, nowhere to put anything. Two more crescent rolls for apple dumplings. Free cream cheese, because there's always a recipe I need cream cheese for. DJ Max bag. <laughs> I hope this is good protein. Someone let me know, but I just, just, just bleh, decided to get this because I want to start making protein smoothies, protein shakes. So I got the chocolate elevation one. I had this before in the past, so hopefully that's good. Things potatoes, mostly for the roast. Two things of garlic powder because they don't sell the giant one and I'm getting low because they use garlic powder for everything. Things of cream of chicken soup because I make recipes with that and pumpkin puree for the pumpkin bars I'm gonna make. Two things of low sodium chicken broth, again, for recipes that I need that and chicken broth because I always have recipes with that. Hawaiian stuffing mix because why not and then regular stuffing mix as well and then another one of these skillet meals I like to make. Frozen stuff, we have chicken strips, or to put anything. Chicken strips, frozen fruit, chicken fries, Say. Frozen broccoli. Frozen me. Huh? Frozen you. I got two things of mixed veggies for the pot pie meal that I made before, just in case. Very, very soon. I told you guys this is a stock up haul. This broccoli stuffed chicken, which is really good. Chicken fajitas. I like to freeze these, even though they're ready to eat meals, just because you never know. Cheese, um, Texas toast for dinner. Hopefully, when we have like pasta and stuff. 
shredded chiz because we're running low. Sliced chiz. I got Colby Jack and medium cheddar this time because, again, you never know. I got a loaf of bread. <laughs> Let me just try to find places to put everything. And then I got these brioche buns because these are really good for burgers. So we're going to burgers tonight. There's that. I um, got one more bag. Oh, I do have one more bag. Which is literally eggs. Eggies. That's it. That's our entire grocery haul. <sighs> I'm very happy because I've been wanting to do this haul for a few weeks now. So let's do it. Uh, no, 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 it'll no, stay. No. It'll stay right there. Okay, whatever. Um, but yeah, that's the grocery haul. Now I got to figure out how to put all this away. Mostly the free. I don't think it's that bad. It's not that bad. It'll be fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Don't look at that face. Everything's fine. It's fine. I got it. I got this. It's fine. It's fine. Thank you.